Good morning. How's everybody? I'm having a little pop-up right now. I'm going to wait a minute to see if anybody gets a notice. It is time for me to start making my thank you cards for January. All those who ordered from me. So I have um, about an hour this morning. I've been out here about a half hour. So a half hour left this morning. Hey, Pam, to come up with my idea and then a few days to cut and uh, stamp and get them all ready, right? But the main thing is the idea. Hi, Diane. So um, I thought I'd use this celebration set that you can get for free with a $50 order right now and in the month of February. I really like this because it can be for Easter with the carrots and I just thought there might be a lot I can do with it. So um, here we go. So the first thing I wanted to show you, my idea, let me get my cut and boss machine. Well, let me show you this. I've showed you once the something fancy dies. I really, really like them a lot. And I've fallen in love with the little inserts that you can put in to make the tags holes and to make the top of the tags a little fancier. So I have one of them already on my machine because I'm gonna use it for my thank you cards. And here's what I've done. Let's see here. So I have the contour scallop dies, which are, oh, if they ever go away, I'm gonna have a big, moment or hour of silence because I absolutely love the contour dies. It's these rectangles here. And I placed one of the small something fancy dies in the corner here and taped it. It's the one that looks like little leaves. So let me get my other platform and run this through. Hi, Jean. I wanted to see if I could use these dies with other dies, you know, that's what I always like to research and, and test and figure out so I can give you guys more ideas. So I put it down with the post-it note just so it wouldn't move around on me. And let's get this all out of the way. And look how cute in the corner of the contour dies these little leaves oh my gosh so now I'm thinking oh now my brains just going wild it's like wow I can use these just like I was hoping for a lot more things okay so I'm gonna use the carrot and I chose um, sweet sorbet ink and the large carrot, and this is gonna be the topper for the carrot. When I do my monthly thank you cards, I, um, I want them to be beautiful or cute or darling. I want them to be something that my customers know. I really appreciate their orders. Um, and yet, I don't want it to be so involved that it takes me forever to get them done, right? So I think I'm going to do this part in mass, and then I will start the stamping, and it's going to go like this. I'm going to stamp off to make the carrot lighter, because this is a two-step stamping set. So it's very light there. Clean off my stamp. I see I got some on the edge. So I should, when you get a lot on the edge like that, you should just change your block to a smaller block. So I'm tapping, stamping off, and I'm just going to go right over the first one and keep doing the same thing. So in my head, I'm telling myself this will be cute and it won't be too hard. Oh my God, I already love it. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I already love it. I kind of like that real soft color. So anyway, this is two-step stamping, like I said. So here's the detail for the carrot. Now this time I'm not going to stamp off. 
I'm just going to, camera's in my way, come down a little bit so I can hopefully get it straight. Without the camera, you will be able to see really well because it's photopolymer. But I've got a, now I'm gonna bring it down here. The camera's right above me, so, oh, that one was good, really good. So look at the detail in those carrots. Now, to cut down in my time, I'm thinking, can I back this image with cardstock? So then I'll spend another little time just cutting small pieces of card, not small, but you know, a square piece or maybe even a round punch or whatever real fast. Scraps of cardstock in green, whichever color you decide to use. and my snips. Soft succulent is the color I'm gonna use here, so I'll just cut off a square. And I'll stick that down. How cute is that? Okay, now I'm already seeing my one of my favorite things, I gotta grab it. I just bought five new packs of this twine. It's linen thread is what it's actually called. And I need to keep, I ran out, so I needed, and I didn't run out completely, but I ran out of the one on my desk. So I need to open this one up and put it on my desk. Okay. Let's see, should I double? I think I'm gonna double this. And I think it needs just a little high, high, high. It just needs a little bow right there under the topper. See, I stopped, I stopped talking when I'm concentrating because I almost was going to pull that bow through and mess it up. Yep. Of course, I don't know why, but this little linen thread, it's $5, and it lasts a really long time, even though I use it a ton. So, I think it's something you should either already have or put on your wish list. It's a great one, you know how when you get real close to a, let's say right now during celebration, $50, and you need just a few more dollars, this is a great one to add because you're always going to use it. That or adhesive to get to your goal. Okay, so cute. All right, in the set there's also Thanks a Bunch, and it's two, I know, Cookie, I love linen thread. It's two different stamps, Thanks, and then a Bunch is a separate stamp, but I put them together on my block. Again, my point is to save time, but yet have cuteness, abundance of cuteness if I can. In this case, a bunch. And I'm using um, Evening Evergreen because my words, I want them to stand out. So Soft Succulent and Evening Evergreens. So I, heard, I heard a demonstrator, or I saw where a demonstrator asked Stampin' Up, can you keep this Evening Evergreen as one of our all-time colors? I don't, you know, because, you know, um, when they're in colors, they only go stay for two years. And, you know, I kind of think she's right. I've just been really using the heck out of this color. My hands are inky. I'm going to clean them real quick. So I hope you guys enjoy my pop-ups. I like to come out here when I'm working. And like I said, I have about a half hour left before I have to get in the house and get ready for the day. We've got, you know, we've had a crazy, it's been fun, but uh, Thursday we went out to dinner with my two brothers and their wives, who are my super, super besties. Um, and then yesterday, Ken went out to lunch. It's his birthday, and he his birthday was actually yesterday. And he went out with some buddies, um, long time friends of his, they went to lunch together, so that was really, really nice. And then today, the girls are coming over, our daughters. And so we're all going to go out to lunch again. Oh, my gosh, how much weight am I going to gain? And then tomorrow, we're going out to lunch with, um, or 
early dinner with his parents. So it's going to be, it's a fun four days for him. He's just really, really happy. So I like this clean look, but I want some spreckle. So I'm going to take, I almost didn't even show you what I was doing, my 100 blend. Now, if you don't have these earth tone blends yet, I, that's another thing I would put on my wish list. They're really nice with all the critters that we've got now that you can um, color in, you know, the skin tones. And we have cute cakes, make chocolate cake. Oh my gosh, speaking of cake, I'm squirrel, I'm going all over the place. Um, I made my husband a, his favorite cake, carrot cake. It was delicious. Oh my God, oh, Diane's asking. Oh my gosh, Diane, he took one bite and he looked over at me and Heather and my mom and he said, this is the best carrot cake I've ever tasted, seriously. I was so thrilled because he eats many a carrot cake. That's his favorite. So every time we go out and we have dessert or whatever, that's what he chooses. So um, I was, so it's a keeper. My daughter said, mom, you got to put this in your, your recipes that you use all the time. So um, see the little sprinkles that, that just helped. And that is just hitting the wide end of the, the blends with your, with your bone folder. And that is the best way to Freckle, I think. I've tried a bunch of different ways and I love the um, the amount that comes out. I, I love how easy it is and how controllable it is. So there we go. So then back into the scalloped contour dies. This one always kills me because it just makes everything cuter. It just can't help it. And I went to our designer series paper, the six by six. And my thought is whatever six by six paper I choose to back this, I will make the carrots that color as well. So this one is cut out. And at this point is when I thought, I gotta share this with you guys. So look how cute that is. Hi, Lynn. I just think it's coming, hi, Florence. I think it's just coming out so well. So now we just have to, I'm going to leave these flat. Um, if I was going to hand this to somebody, I would probably put it on dimensionals, this part here. But since they're going to go, at, many of them are going to go out into the mail, most of them actually, um, I'm going to leave it pretty flat. Hi, welcome. Scotia, hello from... Oh my word, oh, I am just thrilled that you're here. Welcome, Nova Scotia. Can you believe that, you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, okay, this card is darling. And I just see the, the white cardstock put into the Simply Score tool and dry scored with my lines. You know, you know me, I'm crazy. I crazy love that. And I was looking everywhere. For, I'm still going to keep looking for it. I don't know where I put that blue paper and the green. Remember it had green with it that has these the scoring in it already. It's a 12 by 12 pack. Where the heck did I put it? I've got to find it because I was thinking, oh my gosh, if I used the dark green, the color of that paper, and then oh, put some lining back here. I can just see this card being elevated even to the max. But this is the thank you card I am going to send out. Of course, I will stamp the inside. I just wanted to share it with you. Hi, Sandy. Welcome. Um, because remember, I will not be, I have my actual live tomorrow night at seven because we will be out of town. So um, I just wanted to pop in and say hi and give you a quick idea and get you stamping today if you can. Thank you for stopping by. See you next time. Bye-bye.